which aims to inform and assist property watchers looking to make an investment decision. It's positioning itself as the only independent magazine with advice on wealth creation through property investment. We wanted to find out more about the mag and get some insight into some of the advice that's being offered to investors in the launch issue. With me now, I have the publisher, Neil Peterson. Neil, welcome to Kaleidoscope. Thank you very much, Mamie. Okay, we have so many property magazines. What's different about this particular magazine, The Investor? Okay, this magazine is unique in the sense that uh, it offers all kind of tips and all kind of information to be able to invest in an investment type property. Um, as opposed to just being a listings magazine and having a publication with a multitude of properties which, um, which is really gets, gets lost in a lot of clutter out there. So it's not necessarily for your real estate agency? No, not necessarily. Um, I think they are an important part of the fold and I think it's an opportunity for the real estate industry and real estate agents to actually get involved in this particular market because it is a very lucrative market. Um, you tend to find that uh, people look for um, value in the property either in terms of capital growth, rental returns, um, internal rate of returns. Those are the kind of things we look for as opposed to the more emotional side of the actual property. So who makes up a part of your editorial staff? Any big names there? Um, our editor is a lady by the name of Irina Boerta. Irina is very experienced in the property industry. Um, we're very fortunate though that we've actually got access to more than four years, um, it's actually four and a half years worth of editorial from the States. Um, this particular brand actually emanates from, from the United States and we are very lucky and privileged in fact to have um, a gentleman by the name of Dolph DeRoos who um, is an international property investor and uh, Dolph is invested all around the world and his knowledge of property is uh, unbelievable. So there will be worldwide I uh, you know, involvement regarding the, the, the magazine but what about the rest of Africa? Well, certainly. I mean, we're only launching here in South Africa mm -hmm. first. And I think, you know, any, any company that launches in South Africa, you know, obviously has an aspiration to grow throughout Africa without a doubt. Mm -hmm. And so we first want to get a foothold here. And um, essentially, it's all about investor strategies, um, finding property, acquiring property, financing property, uh, managing property, renovating property, even selling or trading property. So it's all about those kind of tips that we want to we want to put out there into the market. But I still want to know, Neil, why have you targeted South Africa, though? Well, I think if you look in the last five or six years, there's been an incredible property boom in South Africa. And I think what's happened as a result of that is that property as an investment vehicle has now been raised. And, and, and in fact, a lot of people have become exceptionally wealthy over the last five years through property. So we felt that we needed to play a role in that particular process and, and almost be there as an advice and uh, piece for, for the investor so that he has some kind of um, advice column, some kind of resource that he can actually turn to. And, and that's what really what we're trying to do at the end of the day, is to be a resource for the property investor in South Africa. Okay, let's go into the magazine. Now, I see the, the mock cover you've got, for instance, don't buy real estate without this magazine. Absolutely. Uh, and secrets of success in becoming a property millionaire. Can you take us through some of the tips that will be covered in the first issue? Absolutely. Well, yes, um, I think that's a very strong message. Don't buy real estate without this magazine. And I think it's very powerful in the sense that if you are buying investment property, certainly this is where you should turn to first. Mm -hmm. um, very, very, very different from buying any other property or a house, in fact, that you're going to live in. Um, there's all kind of tips, um, as I say, from we have our, our master mm -hmm. investor. And that would be a regular column that we'll be having in the magazine our master investor is essentially somebody who has achieved wonderful success through property investment. Mm -hmm. And we will be interviewing um, this particular person in each particular issue, getting a little bit to find out about the psyche of property investment um, and, and what made that person successful and what tips can he give us uh, as uh, future property investors and, in fact, as existing property investors. Because I think as property investors, we're always learning new information all the time. So who's in the first issue? Uh, it's a gentleman by the name of uh, Pierre van Weyck. And Pierre, he's a very, he, he represents, I think, the young Turks of property investors. And in a very short space of time, 
peer achieved uh, exceptional um, results from, from property investment and, and results in terms of wealth. And, uh, and, it's, and it's really out there for anybody. At, at the world is your oyster as, 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 as a property investor. And as a Joburg resident, I have to ask about this one, investment hotspots in Johannesburg inner city? Absolutely. Well, Johannesburg inner city is quite exciting at the moment. Um, in particular, there's, there's Ponty, there's a whole lot of other buildings, there's a fashion district, really exciting new developments, and obviously with 2010 and beyond in mind, um, that there's really good value for property investors. Um, it seems that people are coming back into the city, a um, lot of people, a lot of um, the, uh, the black diamonds which are investing in the city. So this magazine will assist us to find those properties? Absolutely. You're going to find them in there. <laughs> no, thank you very much for coming through. Thank you very much, Manly.